here back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. Can you hear me? There's construction going on across the street from my house. And it's loud. I don't know if you can see that. 75 to 80 dBA. It's loud out here. So what I thought I'd do is I'd put two microphones to the test in a super loud environment and see which one actually works better. The first microphone that we have is this one. This is the Coles 4014B lip microphone. This microphone is specifically designed for this situation, for loud, outdoor, chaotic environments. This one is the Shure SM58 stage microphone. Also designed for really loud environments where you might be having front-facing monitors blaring up your, your audio back at you. It was up on stage in front of a crowd. Two very different price points. The Coles 4014B is about $650, $700. The Shure SM58 is 100 bucks or so. Two totally di two similar microphones designed for different situations. The first thing I want to point out is it's really loud out here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hopefully that readout is coming out. But it's typically around, right now with this construction, it's been hovering between like 77 dBA and 80 dBA, depending on what they're doing over there. And that is pretty loud. That's certainly up at like, you know, noisy restaurant. Uh, people talking loudly amongst themselves. If we were to have a conversation right here, right now, we'd be using elevated voices. I feel like I'm even using an elevated voice right now just to compete with it because of what I hear in my headphones. So what did I, did I say? Six, about $600. Uh, 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 yeah, about 600, about $600, about $99. So the Coles, let's talk about the Coles here for a minute. And I'll just give you a good sample of what this sounds like. The Coles is a lip microphone. By lip microphone, it means that there's a little fender right here, a little guide, and I am supposed to put my mustache right up against that guide. Interestingly, there's a pop filter on the top, and there's a pop filter built in in the front. So this pop filter is for breath coming out of my nose. Shouldn't create any, uh, any wind effects. It shouldn't create any plosives or anything like that. Plus, there's a pop filter right up here in the front so that if I pop any peas, it hopefully doesn't create any plosives in the microphone. This is made for like war zone reporting, loud, chaotic environments. You're doing uh, reporting at the beach or something like that, where you really try to get a good sounding signal in a chaotic environment. Now the SM58, you hear it. I hear it in my headphones, totally different sounding microphone, very different EQ curve, the Coles is really uh, designed, it's got that sweet spot right in the, in the vocal range. It's got a high pass filter, it's rolling off all that bass. It's got a low pass filter, it it's doesn't have you know, super high treble response. Whereas the SM7B definitely for me has a much bassier response. Um, and the question is, is, is there a significant sound difference in the noise that's behind me? <laughs> it's so loud. I mean, I can really, I can't even hear myself all that well. So the seven, the uh, SM58, I, I will always say the SM7B because I'm so in the habit of saying that. But the, the SM58 stage microphone. So this is, uh, you got crowd noise, you got cheering crowds, you have uh, feedback monitors coming up at you, you've got PA sound system, and you really want to try and stop that bleed from getting into the microphone. So again, a dynamic microphone means that as you move away from that microphone, so right now I'm, I'm about two inches off each of these microphones. First, we'll hear the coals about two inches off, and now we'll hear the, SM, uh, the SM58 about two inches off. And now we'll be about, I'm maybe a foot off the microphone. I'm using an elevated voice. This is the Coles with a foot off the microphone. And this is the SM58, a foot off the microphone. So when would you use these? Well, under normal circumstances, you might never have a need for a microphone like the Coles. 
But if you are going to do field reporting, if you're looking to create uh, voiceover tracks out in the field as you're recording and you're off camera, perhaps you're doing uh, voiceover at a conference or you're trying to catch your, uh, capture sound in a loud restaurant or you're at the beach or you're in a very windy environment and you need a rugged microphone that's going to be able to withstand most of these elements that is very self-contained. You don't want to worry about pop filters or windscreens or anything like that and it's going to be a loud, chaotic environment, then the Coles might be exactly the microphone that you want. On the other hand, if you're going to be on stage and you want to care, you want to try and capture the full robustness of your voice from a singing perspective, something like the, seven, uh, the SM58 might be the thing that you want. Now, there's also like a Beta 58, uh, which is a, a slightly different pattern. But these, the, you can hear the, the frequency response is very different, maybe more optimized for being in front of an instrument cabinet, uh, capturing a singer's voice as opposed to a reporter's voice. Two totally different, totally different EQ curves for different environments, different purposes. It's crazy. It's crazy. This has been going on for like 10 days. They're putting in a new tank or something at the gas station. It's terrible. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is I'd like to, instead of trying to compete with that noise, what I'd like to do is I'm just going to talk in a very nice, comfortable, very low voice to see if you can still see, hear me, to see if it's still got clarity. And so if I'm talking down and I'm not trying to compete with that, with that noise behind me, does it still sound nice and clear? So if I have to uh, speak quietly in this situation... Do we have that? Do we have the, the appropriate? Uh, can we strike that balance between me using a nice, quiet voice and being heard versus having to shout? And we'll do the same thing for the SM58. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm talking in a very low voice. I'm right up on the microphone. In both of these cases, I'm about a centimeter to a centimeter and a half off the pop filter, the built-in pop filter. Uh, with the coals, it's because of the the lip guide that's that's keeping me. It's about a finger about a finger's width away, and on the 58, it's essentially just the thickness of the windscreen itself. So I've got my lips right up against the windscreen. In this case, on the 58, the windscreen is absolutely essential because otherwise I'd be I'd be putting plosives into the microphone. But the windscreen does really help. I'm not sure what else there is to say about this. So. If you, my initial, when, when the, this was on loan to me from a fellow booth junkie, and my first thought was, could you use this microphone as a gaming microphone? And yeah, I totally think you could use this as a gaming microphone. Do I think you need to spend $700 on a gaming microphone? That's where I think the whole theory falls down because this is, is so, so expensive. That my first thought was, well, if I have my monitors right here, my gaming speakers right here, and I've got people around me, could I put my lips right up to the microphone? It's not in my view. I don't have to worry about pop filters or anything like that. Could I still game, whether it's you know like this? Could I use my mechanical keyboard? Can I have my monitors facing at me? And yeah, I think I, I, think I probably really could. Well, so why don't we actually do that? Why don't we actually, rather than seeing if it would work, why don't we actually see if it would work? So... I've got on this screen over here uh, a gameplay video, and I've got down here my really loud mechanical keyboard. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little. I've got my big stereo monitors under here. I've got a subwoofer, big 12-inch subwoofer under my desk, and we'll play some gameplay audio, and I'll try and make it as loud as it was outside. So if I go over here... So my meter's getting up to about 75, 77, somewhere in there. So let's start with the coals. Right now, <laughs> this is really loud <laughs> here in my monitors. So let's see if the coals actually works. And we'll also see how the SM7B sounds. So if you're in a gaming situation where you've got a really loud setup, so this is this is loud it's rumbling my desk is moving and 
So I'm just trying to talk and vamp and see if this works in this situation. I'm looking down at the meters. I've got my, I'm, I'm recording these into my Zoom H5 so that my, uh, doesn't interfere with my, my audio here on the, on the, on the system. And I'm just talking in a regular voice. Now I can barely hear myself talking in my ear, in my free ear. The music is overpowered. The, the sound effects are just overpowering. But could we use this? So I've, I'm, I can see my screen perfectly. I don't even know if you can hear my keyboard at all, but I'm, I'm gonna really just pound away at the keyboard. The big thing about this is neither of these microphones are coupled to the desk. They are, that's loud. They are uh, on stand, so they're not coupled to the desk. So there's no, uh, there's no you know, feedback getting through, getting through here. So is this something that I could actually do? I can have this as loud as I want, maybe, and still hear how it's going. Uh, see, it still make my my outbound my outbound stream going okay. So does the 58 work? And does the Coles work? Now I have purposely put the sound source on the wrong side of the microphone, so the noise is behind me. This is the worst case scenario. So that engine that you're hearing, that drone, is coming from directly behind the microphone. The only thing impeding that sound from getting into the microphone <laughs> is my big fat head. <laughs> so in this case, this is the worst possible scenario. And so I really wanted to give, I really wanted to give these microphones sort of, sort of the hardest possible job to try and manage that sound. So that if you did need to deal with a loud environment, is there a microphone that will work for you? And so this has been a comparison of the Coles 4014B and the Shure SM58 in a loud noise, very difficult environment. What do you think? Would it work? Do I sound good enough in either case that you could get usable audio? Now, I'm not going to narrate an audiobook out here, but if you needed to put audio under a, under a video uh, uh, that where you were capturing the ambience, where you were narrating in real time, trying to capture events as they're unfolding. Could you use either one of these mics? Well, hopefully this will let you decide. It's so hard. I can barely hear myself trying to compete with this. And I'm trying not to make my headphones so loud. I do feel bad for those guys because this is really loud. I'm a hundred yards away and it's still, you know, whoa, it's still... Oh, it's still 80, 80 dB here. It must be incredibly loud. I hope they're wearing ear protection. Tinnitus is real, folks. Protect your ears. Anyway, two dynamic microphones in a loud environment. Here's how they sound. Now, if you need to record in a loud environment, go find yourself the right dynamic microphone for you. Get out there, attach it to your portable recorder, and go capture, <laughs> go capture that loud audio. And whatever you do, just record something amazing. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time.